Welcome to the Entrepreneur's MBA, bringing you lessons from real life entrepreneurs they don't teach in business school. Here's your host, business coach and marketing strategist, Adam Kipnis. Adam Kipnis here from the Entrepreneur's MBA podcast, and I got a speeding ticket this weekend. I was just cruising along, heading up to Northern Arizona with my wife, not paying attention. Police officer pulls me over, and as soon as I saw the lights, I knew what was going on. And didn't really think I was speeding, but couldn't really argue the situation. So, uh, you know, as, he, as he walks up to the car, I uh, had my license and registration and proof of insurance and all that good stuff. And he walked up and said, what you in a hurry for? And I was like, nothing. Was just cruising along. Wasn't even really thinking about it. And he kind of laughed. And he said, well, we get a lot of people in this area. So you're you're not alone. Takes my information and goes back to write a ticket. As I'm thinking about it, I'm just like, that was really freaking stupid. Um, you know, I just wasn't paying attention. So, but I can't be pissed about it. I just had to sort of move on and, you know, take my lumps and go to driving school and, um, and follow the rules next time. So he walks back up and he's kind of joking with us as he's uh, getting our paperwork together. And I was like, how fast was I going? And he was like, 72. And I was like, all right, it's not really screaming fast. I was like, what's the speed limit? And he said, 55. It changes, you know, about a half mile back. And so he got me at the one spot right where it dropped and people aren't paying attention. But he said, you know, he's laughing and he said, but have you ever heard of a waste of finite resources violation? And I said, no, I haven't. So that's what he gave me, a waste of finite resources rather than speeding. And essentially, it's an old law that says you're using too much gas. So it got me thinking, obviously, the you know gas in a car is a finite resource. But, but what about us in our business? And, and obviously, time is a finite resource that we all have. And, and we tend to waste. A couple episodes ago, I talked about four questions that you can ask before doing anything, which will give you time and capacity. But we didn't really think of time as, as a resource. It was more about capacity and how can you get more of it. Well, when I was thinking about this, this ticket and, and what I got, it was a little bit more in the, maybe in the structure of how we use our time. Maybe it's more in how we can be more efficient at doing what we're doing. And it led me to think about systems. And when we have a system, it allows, obviously, everything to work smoother, other people to step into our place, and, and things to go better than, than originally planned. But, but how do we get those systems? Like, there's tons of systems. You can buy a system. Uh, I've got an online system. You can go to my website at the 1495group.com, and there's free resources you can download that are the starts of systems. And they're great um, if you need some place to start. So I recommend you do that. But but buying a system out of the box, is that going to work for you? And I was thinking, all right, what if we think about the things we're doing well rather than the things that aren't going well? It's easy to say, oh, I need a, a better system for that because it's taking too much time or because it's not going well, so I need a system. But what if we said... Let me take the things I know are working well and all the things that I'm doing right in my business and let me systematize those. Because if I try and systematize something that isn't working to try and fix it, I may just be spending more time doing the wrong thing. But if I'm doing something well and I systematize it and save, t save time, now I'm essentially getting the economy of scale. I'm doing something well, it's working, and I'm able to do it better. So it's just something I was thinking about and I thought about over the weekend um, as I was whining about the $67 I have to pay to the village of Paradise or Prescott Valley up in northern Arizona. 
But I looked at several things that I was doing well. And there were things that I could do better. Steps I could shave off. Ways that I could streamline my processes. And and I started, that's where this idea came from. And I know it's a little disjointed conversation. And, and uh, hopefully you're sticking with me for the full five minutes. But think about the things you're doing well. And think about how to do them better. And use that as a way to stop wasting that finite resource that is your time. Appreciate you being here. This is Adam Kipnis for the Entrepreneur's MBA podcast. Look forward to the next one. And thanks again. Bye-bye. You've been listening to the Entrepreneur's MBA. Download Adam's free book, How to Make More Money in Your Business, at www.freebookfromadam.com.